Me! Hello everyone and welcome back to the walkthrough! Let's continue from the diary and we're teleported over here! And this is one of the few times that you can actually have your back face towards a wall in the game because normally, you see, you can't like turn away by doing a quick tap like you can on the Pokemon regular Game Boy games. So yeah, once you move away from that wall, you can't go back facing away from the wall again. Well, it's not really the wall, actually, it's this computer. Speaking of this computer, we should check our mail, shouldn't we? I think that's a good idea, and oh god. By the way, 15 pieces of mail is the max that you can hold there, and that means we've got them all! Yeah, you basically get them during your progress through the game. It's been a while since I've checked, huh? Are you getting any closer to inheriting the legendary Pokémon cards? Yep. Really been a long time, hasn't it? <laughs> Murray of the Psychic Club. I have some information on his deck. It seems to be a deck that uses Alakazam's damage swap. It will be diff difficult to defeat his deck of Psychic Pokémon. Psychic Pokémon are tricky, since your weakness is Psychic Pokémon. Try to defeat him before his Pokémon evolves into Alakazam. Murray is a tough opponent. Here, take this. I uh, thank you for the booster pack. I don't know how you managed to send it through the PC. I guess it's like... Sort of maybe sending Pokemon through the PC, you get like like physical objects transported through technology or something. Fight to the end, Mark, and don't give up. Mason Laboratory, Dr. Mason, winky face. It's me, Dr. Mason. Who would have guessed? <laughs> I have some information for you about Amy's deck. She's the master of the water club. Her deck uses Rain Dance, Blastoise's Pokemon power. This deck allows her to keep attaching water energy to her water Pokemon to power them up. Man, my opponents know that. <laughs> her deck's weakness is Lightning Pokemon. I suggest you duel her using the deck from the Psychic... What? He just said that her weakness is Lightning and then he says to go to the Psychic Metal deck machine? Okay, is, is there something I'm missing here? <laughs> Here's a booster pack for you. Mystery Nine Tails, oh yeah, such power. Uh, I'm getting a lot of duplicates nowadays because I got the majority of the cards. Mark, keep at it and don't give up! Mason Laboratory, Dr. Mason. But yeah, I'm getting a lot of duplicates because the most of the remaining cards are promotional cards. So yeah. Hey, did you try building your own deck? This time I'll give you tips on the types and number of cards you should include in your deck. If you're... well, maybe it's on most of the cards that are left over that are promotional. Hmm. Come to think of it. Anyway, if you have three of a basic Pokémon card, you'll want two of its Stage 1 and one of its Stage 2 Pokémon. If you follow this rule, your deck will be well balanced. You should have about 14 basic Pokémon anywhere between 20 and 26 energy cards in your deck. The type of energy cards it will depend on the type of Pokémon you have in your deck. Uh... Not really. Actually, I would say it's the total opposite. Like, if you're building a deck off of something, chances are you would put the Pokémon in, you know, trainer cards in, and then the energy cards to support them. You might want to look at the decks in the deck machine for hints. Mason Laboratory. Dr. Mason Wikiface PS! It's time I send you two booster packs again! And they're mystery packs, I think. And now the Moltres of... Con Luckiness! If I say kind of luckiness is because this attack's kind of, kind of iffy. Double cuddle this energy, very nice. <laughs> oh, 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 laboratory. Oh, oh, oh. Kind of throwing me off here. <laughs> okay. And number twelve. It's me, Doctor Mason. Of course. You're finally going to be dueling a grandmaster. And Master Courtney uses the legendary Moltres. Several decks should be made up of fire Pokemon. Derp! <laughs> be sure to use water Pokemon, since water Pokemon are the weakness of fire Pokemon. Other than that, just watch how your opponent plays and choose your strategy accordingly. Mason Laboratory, Dr. Mason, Leaky Face, BS! You're almost there! Keep up with the good work! Coliseum Booster Pack! <laughs> oh! Yeah! Yes! One of the greatest basic Pokemon of its time, Scyther. Oh, yeah! Oh. <laughs> Grandmaster Steve uses the legendary Zapdos. Legendary Zapdos' is Peel of Thunder and Big Thunder randomly choose a target, so you'll never know which Pokémon will receive damage. Oops! <laughs> Be sure to look after not only your active Pokémon, but also the Pokémon on your bench. His deck should be made up mostly of Lightning Pokémon, so duel him using your Fighting Pokémon. Defeat the Grandmaster's Mark! Mason Laboratory, Dr. Mason, we give these PS! Steer him to go! 
By the way, when I said whoops, I accidentally hit the center button of my Xbox 360 controller and brought up that little service menu type thing. I don't know if you've seen it on the screen, though. Anyway, let's see what we got. Oh, duplicate Charizard! Not too shabby. <laughs> Gust of wind, nice. 14. Two Grandmasters to go! Grandmaster Jack uses the legendary Articuno. He will use the legendary Articuno's quick freeze to paralyze your Pokemon. It's it's kind of funny. Um, you you always get these after you've already attempted a battle versus uh, a club master or grandmaster. So the only time that you'll really have these tips, I guess, applied to the battle is after you lose to them, so it's kind of, sort of, pointless in a way to get these emails after you give them a shot first, but anyway, I'm kind of babbling. Also, be wary of his other Ar Articuno's freeze drive. His deck should be mostly water Pokemon, so it will be weak against lightning Pokemon. Go get him, Mark! You're almost there! Bleaky face! <laughs> and... Oh yeah! Another Lapras! They replaced one, we traded for that RK9. Level Cuddleless, very nice! Awesome tastic. It's me, Dr. Mason. The final duel is here. I have some information on Rod, the leader of the Grand Masters. Rod uses the legendary dragon. The longer a duel takes, the greater the advantages for his deck. That's pretty much what I said. His workhorse will be his evolution Pokemon, so defeat them while they're still in their basic stage. Follow the simple strategy of striking early. This is the final test in inheriting the legendary Pokemon cards. Go Mark! Be a part of the legend! By the way, it's not really the final test. Obviously, it's the final gift for me. Laboratory Boostic Pack! Can I get another fossil magneton? <laughs> okay, let's get out of here. <laughs> so, you might have noticed that there's this machine right here. Well, this is something kind of special. Let's talk to him. Congratulations, Mark! I hear you have inherited the legendary Pokemon cards! The strength of a deck does not depend on any single card, but on how skillfully you are able to use that card. The power of the legendary Pokemon cards depends on you. You must become a skilled card master. But actually, you're the one who's going to talk about the machine. This is the Challenge Machine, created by Dr. Mason. That's why I thought I had to talk to Dr. Mason, because I knew it was made by him. The Challenge Machine is a Pokemon card duel machine. The rules of the game are simple. Choose one deck with which you must duel five computer opponents. If you can defeat the five opponents, you win! You can also play to extend your winning streak. Build a deck and give it a try, Mark. So basically, every five duels you get a little break, uh, but you gotta keep playing through otherwise. But anyway, what I'd like to do is go and explore the overworld. Let's first see if there's something going on over here. No, no challenge hall thingy going on right now. That is okay. So what I'm gonna do here is go over to the fighting club. Because remember, there it was... Uh -huh. Yes, I am. Looking for Amastar this time. Yeah, this guy that wants to grab your cards from you. If you should happen to have one, would you mind giving it to me? Yeah, sure, you, you can have it. You're welcome. <laughs> you're welcome, you're welcome! And he still doesn't give you something. Well, he will... Eventually. What I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna leave. And I'm going to save right here. And hold on a sec, I'm gonna reload, and let's go back over to... Whoops, why did I go to the Rock Club? I guess I was thinking both have fighting. <laughs> and now we should have something else! Uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh. Weezing, huh? I'm pretty sure I could spare a Weezing. Here you go. Enjoy, enjoy! And he still isn't giving anything to you, so let's do this one more time! And we're off! <laughs> Hey there! Uh-huh, 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 wait, uh, Parasect, yes! Sure, enjoy! And... Hi, thanks for being so kind. I'm taking good care of all the cards you gave me. Still nothing, huh? Well, I'll be back one more time! Go, 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 go! <laughs> oh, Imakuri! I want to rebattle him, but anyway, this guy first. Uh-huh. Graveler! I do have one! Sure! Uh-huh. Alright, you do that. You're welcome, you're welcome. Since you've been so kind and given me so many cards, please accept this card as a gift from me to you. It's a level 16 Pikachu. Please take good care of it. Woo! I told you he would give you something eventually if you kept giving him cards. So this is the alternate version of the level 16 Pikachu with this version of the artwork. Uh-huh. Yep, you know this Pikachu by now, I'm sure. Yep, 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 yep. Thank you for being so kind and giving me all these cards. 
Hi, is the card I gave you coming in handy? Thanks again for being so kind. So I'm gonna show you here. Uh, wait, wait, I went too far, didn't I? <laughs> yeah, they're all right near the top. See, there's this version, which we got earlier. Looks like there's a green piece of snot hanging from Pikachu Pikachu's nose there, doesn't it? <clears throat> anyway, <laughs> and then there's this version of Pikachu. Both the same card, except with alternate artwork. So they're technically not the same card. We gotta get them for our collection. Alright, now for Imakuni. Hey there, how's it going? Huh? Uh, we're, we've met before, what? What? How could you say? After, after all the time we spent together, that one or two turn game. How how could you have forgotten me? <laughs> Alright, let's duel him because... Remember, he's still got something special to give us. And we've got our Rain DDR deck. Well, at least I've got my Rain DDR deck. I don't know what deck you're playing with, but <laughs> mine should work just fine for the most part. Ooh, that's a pretty decent opening hand, aside from having no uh, energy cards. Uh, I think I'll put all Seal because of its high HP. Put Squirtle out there for evolution later, Psyduck for evolution later, and Articuno to power up on the sidelines. We will see who goes first. He goes first. No! Well, anyway, Slowpoke can't really attack. <laughs> yeah. At least not that version of Slowpoke. Alright, let's do a build. Let's see who we get. Water Energy, Squirtle. Plop that on there. Headbutts for a measly 10. <laughs> I put a lot of energy into that headbutts. And he's going to do a spacing out, of course. Ah, eh, oh, poopers. All that damage I did was for naught. <laughs> but I'm really mostly stalling out more than anything. Evolve into War Turtle, very nice. Um, I guess I'll power up Articuno on the side. And... And I think you know what I'm going for. I think you know. Oh yes, you know now. <laughs> I'll I'll uh, power up my War Turtle to Blastoise on the next turn via evolution, then play Professor Oak and get my loads of energy cards to utterly destroy Imakuni. <laughs> Poor guy. He has no idea what's coming unless he heard me. <laughs> All right. All right. Oh yeah, there it is! <laughs> and let's see what we get of our seven cards. La 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 la, doo 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 doo. Hopefully we get a dugong. No dugong, really. <laughs> yeah, what I could do is... Is... Uh, retreat to Articuno and attack with Freeze Dry! Ow! I was hoping for paralysis, but even so, Slowpoke isn't going to be able to heal enough to stop my next freeze dry. Would have been nice if I would have had an extra energy card there to uh, grasp some more energy. I mean, I mean, give another, you know, to Articuno for Blizzard to knock out Slowpoke outright. Uh, I should actually see uh, if I can get some more Professor Rogue cards to fill out this deck, because draw power is most certainly the engine of this bad boy. Oh. Alright, your turn. <laughs> Ooh, star you. For future star me and star freeze and recover, very nice. Hmm, okay, you can pound all you want, but I don't think you're gonna stick around for long. <laughs> Blizzard! Yep. You know, I'm surprised he still hasn't played his signature card because he's got four copies of this card that's actually really terrible, but it's really funny. <laughs> So I want one, but you'll see uh, when he plays it, if he plays it, or if I get one. So he's got another version that's slow- that Slowpoke can actually attack, by the way. As you know- oh, Pokemon Flute. Really? Gotta plop a Squirtle on my bench for some reason, okay. Hopefully I'll get Tails, awesome! <laughs> yeah. Okay. Leak Slap cannot be used again now. Uh, I'll, I'll just hold on to the energy and do a blizzard, because the energy I can plop onto whatever Pokémon I please, uh, if time... I mean, whenever the time is necessary, I guess you could say. And there we go, Slowpoke. Mm, maintenance, that card is awful! <laughs> Headbutts. 
definitely play Bill or Professor Oak. Or even Recycle over Maintenance. Because <laughs> Recycle, you know, you could choose the card at least, you know, to grab another turn. Yeah. But, you know, it's still kind of coin flip, but it's not as luck-based as just hoping to get the card you want. Oops, that's right, I didn't put the star you on the bench, oops. <laughs> my bad. Okay, anyway. I win. <laughs> so, why didn't he draw his fabled special card? I don't know. But that is a card that I miss him playing. He usually gets it on, like, the first turn, too, because he's got so many copies. Hey, you're pretty good. I'll give you this booster pack, so don't tell me when I lost, okay? And he, he always says booster pack, even though he gives you four booster packs. Hello, scoop up. Hello, defender. Okay. Nice. Clefairy doll. Yeah, iffy one turn stall. Mystery. Nine tails. Um, that's nice, at least. Double call this. Ooh, energy removal. Laboratory! <laughs> Imposter Professor Oak. Oh no! <laughs> I wish I had one in real life to complete my collection! And okay. In both cards and Dan sold another bit of secrets! It sounds pretty cool, maybe I'll come up with it. So, we gotta go duel him again some other time, but for now, I'm gonna end off the part here. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next part!